telehealth limits, battle over state lines, and licensing threatens patients' options. I assume this is about the state. It is. All right. So this is about the challenge of practicing medicine across state lines and the different state mandates that we have. And some states don't allow you to practice telemedicine. For example, Johns Hopkins Medicine in Baltimore recently scrambled to notify more than a thousand Virginia patients that their telehealth appointments were no longer feasible. Their medical director said, and telemedicine at Johns Hopkins was not an option for them. Virginia is among the states where the emergency orders are expiring or being rolled back. So what happened is during the, the pandemic, we had the emergency order to allow the practice of telemedicine across state lines. And now that's rolling back to state control in some cases. And so Johns Hopkins, which is in Maryland, cannot practice medicine in Virginia. So that's one of the main things this article is talking about. You picked this article. What aspect of this do you want to talk about? Well, I mean, at the beginning of the pandemic, there was all that, those analogies, which I really didn't care for about toothpaste going back in tubes, right? Remember that? Like we're going to, everything's going to be great. All going to be here forever. I still have my toothpaste. <laughs> so it's, I just wanted to highlight that these issues around telehealth are ongoing and they are not, I don't think that you're going to see some big sweeping piece of legislation. I mean, it's always possible, right? But it's expensive. And we haven't seen a number that fixes some of the more systemic issues that like around like the originating site piece that would have to be a change in Congress. And so there are some things that CMS has done, and then there's some things that Congress has done, but there are still outstanding issues. China supports the physicians or a clinician's ability to be able to be in a different location from where their patient is, irrespective of the license. The, the VA does it. I know it's a little bit different. The VA is a closed system, but it, we believe that that barrier should be removed. But it's more to highlight that we still have some challenges and we have retractions of payers going backwards at the state level. 